excited, very excited about the win. Uh, we were not perfect. Uh, and had some uh, uh, situations that I, I felt like we could have been a lot better in. Uh, you know, we gave up too much yardage in the run game. Uh, there's no question about that. Uh, we gave, ended up giving up six explosive plays, which, you know, those plays are going to happen from time to time, but those are things that we got to the limit. You know, we had uh, a pass thrown overhead for 43, year, or 43 yards. You know, we got to eliminate those plays in the game. And uh, we gave up a run of 29 yards and one of 12. You know, we got we to gotta eliminate those explosive uh, plays. I, I think our guys really competed hard. Uh, as I said, it's not, not perfect, but it's a good starting place. And we got some things that we got we to gotta get better this week. There's no question about that. And, uh, you know, we've already started address, uh, addressing some of those things. And that's why you, that's why you review the film. That's why you uh, get back on the practice field and you get some things squared away. And hopefully we're going to be better. I think our players will understand a little bit better what they need to do. And uh, we're excited about that. And uh, looking forward to, to moving on. And with that, I'll start taking questions. Uh, what do you think of the young guys who got to play on Saturday, specifically Bob Ford? Uh, well, there was a bunch of them, and, and some of them, you know, uh, I think I think I think uh, Bumper came in and did uh, a good job. It was a growing experience for him. Uh, I think he had about 39 plays, which was a, a good number. Uh, I didn't know that he played that many, you know, uh, when the game started. But hey, when your numbers call, you got to be ready. And uh, you know, we started we started two ends. You go back and look and see how much football they played at Arkansas, and, and that's Mike Taylor and. And Gabe Richardson, go back and look and see how much football they played at Arkansas. I'm telling you, those, those guys are young too. And what we expect is to, you know, learn the things that we need to learn, improve the things that we need to improve, and that's the way we're going to help this football team get better. And we got to get better every single day, every single day. And 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 then when we get it down to to being fine tuned, you know, practice reps and and, and, and practice has to be taken seriously. And we got to get better on every single rep, you know, and that's the thing that we push with them. And if you're going out there and you're taking reps, then you need to get better. So uh, young guys, young guys played well, and there was other young guys all over the field, but, you know, that's what's exciting. Tom? Oh, Coach, um, I want to ask you about Colorado State. Looks like they throw and catch uh, as good as anybody, maybe. Can you maybe speak to their personnel, what they're trying to do schematically? Do they, do they, um, are they similar somewhat to Eastern Illinois in the way they try to throw it? No, no. But, you know, that doesn't matter. You know, they, they've got a great scheme. I've got tremendous respect for Coach Bobo. Competed against him. Uh, you know, obviously, back when we were competing together in the SEC, you know, it's changed a little bit. You know, they've gone to a little bit of spread stuff. You know, they'll do that. Uh, you know, they got two quarterbacks, uh, obviously. Uh, the, the, and I say backed up, he was their starter, or they thought he was going to be their starter, got injured. He's five, a little over five and a half months uh, out of ACL surgery. You know, got a chance to see him a little bit in this game. So he's got two quarterbacks, and I guarantee you this, you know, quarterbacks that are coached by Mike Bobo are going to be ready to play. They understand the game. Uh, he puts a lot of trust in those guys, uh, but they understand the game plan. And, and, and they know, and, and Coach Bobo knows, what he wants to do to move the football. So it'll be a challenge. They got good receivers. They got good receivers and you know too many to mention, but they've got you know several good receivers and and uh, but guess what? We're gonna play against good receivers every week. And I'm not I'm not saying that to to, to, to say anything about their receivers because they do have you know three or four quality receivers that or or you could play anywhere in the country. There's no question about it. Did you, uh, back to the Saturday, did you get the kind of pressure um, and, and then the second part, the back end of your defense, how do you think they play and heading into this week? Well, you know, our pressure wasn't what it needed to be, you know, and, uh, you know, for reasons I'm not going to talk about, you know, I'm not, not going to go there, but, you know, we'll, you know, uh, you, get in, you get into a game and, and uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't sell the house, you know, we didn't do that. Uh, but at the same time, you do that, you know, when you when you feel like you need to, and, and there's going to be some times when we need to do that. So we'll grow because again, we're talking about a group of young men. Some of them have played very very little football that are growing with this scheme. And as a football coach, it's my job to give them things that they can do, that they can do. And, and I will assure you that we're going to continue to grow with this scheme as our players grow. And and and, and let me reassure you that our players are giving us great effort. They're trying to do everything that we ask them to do. 
And, and it's a good feeling walking on the field with these young men because I know they're going to come to work every day. Coach, you were back in the box. How'd you feel comfortability-wise there? Oh, good. You know, it's uh, like I said, it's a different, different atmosphere. You know, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to, I feel like do my job, you know, best there uh, because I got, you know, guys that I trust on the field that can handle what needs to be handled on the field. And uh, you know, let me let me say this as we talk about the game, you know. And, and, and uh, you, you're going to realize, I'm going to be totally honest with you. You know, there were a couple things that I was a little late getting to, adjusting to. And I'm going to be better next week myself. I'm asking our players to be better, and I'm going to be better too. So, you know, it wasn't anything major, but it was things that I could have done earlier uh, to help uh, in, in, in some of that situation. Hey, uh, Chief, uh, uh, the K KJ Carr Samuels, you know, he's, he's completing almost 60 percent of his passes. He's averaging all over 350 a game. Uh, what, what has he shown you? I guess he had a school record against Hawaii. What, what, what has he shown you? Well, he's a big-time quarterback. He said, uh, I, think, uh, I think they have two quarterbacks that can play, throw the football well. They've been well coached, and as I mentioned, you know, I've never seen, I've never seen a quarterback that uh, Coach Bobo coached that was not prepared to play. And, uh, you know, they're going to be on top of the game. Uh, he puts a lot of stuff on them in terms of, you know, being able to run the offense, you know, in terms of being able to check to the right run that he wants run and all those things. And he's got a long history of that. And I think these two quarterbacks can do the things that he wants them to do. Uh, I want to ask you about what you thought of Dre Greenlaw's quarter, 10 tackles in the quarter, and then the turnover forcing. Uh, I know you went in with a goal. A lot of them look to be second guys and some raking there. Can you talk about that? Uh, you know, those are things that everybody, you know, every defensive staff in the country works on. Uh, what allows you to have success is when your players buy into it. And, uh, you know, our players have, have, uh, have done that. Yeah. That doesn't mean we're going to go out and, 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 and knock six balls and lose every game. Okay? But we're going to work on it. We're going to continue to work on it. It's, uh, it's going to be a part of what we do every single day. It's, it, you know, other than tackling, you know, uh, and there's some other things that are important, but other than tackling, it's probably the second most uh, emphasis that we put on any, any Technique and, and and we usually work it twice a week. And, and Dre, uh, Dre, I, I thought he should have had uh, 15 tackles out of 10 in the first quarter. No, no, he played he played extremely well for us. And uh, you know, uh, I said I said back in the spring, you know, talk about you know the, both of those starting linebackers. They're both quality players. There's no question about that. And uh, you know, when you get guys that have played, you're talking about two guys that have played a lot of football at Arkansas. And uh, I said this back in the spring, before I got here, they both were well coached. There's no question about that in terms of technique and fundamentals. And uh, hopefully I've, I've helped him get better. But, you know, that's Dre, and, and he's, a, he, he's an outstanding athlete. Uh, it means a lot to him, and uh, I was excited about the way he played the first quarter. Does the uh, altitude in Fort Collins affect how much you substitute? Uh, you know, and, and, and I don't take this lightly, but, you know, we're going to substitute anyway. Okay, and and, and uh, we got to try to keep them as fresh as we possibly can, and uh, you know that's going to be important, and and certainly uh, it's a little different. There's no doubt about it. You know we got to make sure our guys are hydrated all week long, and and, and, and particularly you know starting today, you know, and we can't wait to, to Wednesday to start doing that. It's got to be a, an all week long deal. Coach, I don't know how much. Uh, football, you got to watch this weekend besides your own games, but there were a ton of targeting calls. Will you guys place any more emphasis on, you know, not? No, we, we, we've done that, and I think that's a good question, and I'm, I'm quick to answer it, you know. Uh, and I think that uh, for, for safety reasons, and, and look, you don't ever want to see anybody get an injury, and everything that we can do, and, and we take a lot of pride in trying to teach a physical football game, but also a safe football game, and, and, and that emphasis has been there since day one. The respect, I guess, you have for Coach Bobo, everything he's going through health-wise, to see him back with his team just uh, as you prepare. Well, I think, you know, you, you, you know in, in this fraternity, you know, there's some really good guys, and, and, and maybe there's some guys that, that aren't so good I'm not going to mention, but I don't know who they are, so don't worry about that. But my point is, <laughs> you know, you want to see everybody, you know, have an opportunity to do the things that they love to do. And, again, like I said, he's a great competitor. He's a great football coach. And I know for a fact he's a great man. One more question, Chief. Just a quick thing about the run game. Uh, Chad said that there was a few misalignments that maybe contributed to some of Eastern Illinois' runs. Can you talk about that and maybe what you see from 
Colorado State's run game? Well, you know, it's uh, yeah, there were we we had some misalignments, but that you know that's on me. You know, that's coaching and that's things that we got to take care of, and we will take care of those. And, and if it's a misalignment, then it's easy to fix. If it's a a player that's not good enough, then it's a little bit tougher to fix. So, you know, we think we can fix, you know, those issues that we have. We're going to see a totally different run game. Uh, they'll, they'll run some zone reach stuff. Uh, I don't anticipate them running the quarterback a lot. Uh, we're going to see some big personnel. You know, uh, you know, in, in the first game, uh, they got a little bit behind and, 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 and didn't do as much big personnel as I anticipated. When I'm, when I'm talking about big personnel, I'm talking about tight end two backs. You know, we're going to see a tight end two back. We may see two tight ends, two backs, uh, and we've already seen that, you know. So, you know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a little bit more downhill run. It's going to be, uh, you know, a big part of their running game. To be quite honest with you, it's big boy football. You know, you gotta you gotta be behind your pads because they're going to be behind their pads. You know, trying to knock you out of the hole so the backs can run. And uh, uh, we'll see a little bit of, uh, of, of some of the same runs that we saw last week, but you know, anticipate seeing a lot more downhill runs. Thank you very much.